Welcome to the EcoSense Systems Tour. That's our house, we call it EcoSense, built out of clay, sand and straw. It's a cob house and it's a good integration with uh, all the sustainable energy systems we have. You can see 16 solar panels across the front of the roof and on the back we have the solar thermal hot water tubes. Anyways, let's go up on the roof and have a look. Well, here we are up on the roof and we're looking down the row of our solar panels. It's called a solar array. We have 16 sharp 175 panels up here. And together that makes about a 2.3 kilowatt array. And uh, with these panels we make all of our electricity for our three generation family of six. Looking out over the gardens here. There's our earth sheltered greenhouse, cob seeding, earthen oven. And I'm just scrolling over here just so you can see there's a power pole there. And we have what's called a grid tie with BC Hydro. So we actually sell our extra electricity to BC Hydro. When we need it, we buy it back. And on an annual basis, we're actually net suppliers to BC Hydro. And below these solar panels is our living roof. And uh, it's kind of dormant now because it is November 11th. But last spring it was absolutely beautiful. It was covered in all kinds of wildflowers. It takes uh, quite a few years to establish a living roof like this one because this is native flowers up here, meant to mimic the natural hillside behind us. We'll have a peek at that when we go around the other side to look at the uh, solar evacuated tubes for making hot water. There, are those are the evacuated tubes. We have two banks of 30 tubes, so a total of 60 tubes. Those are Mazdon and uh, they're made in Ireland and uh, they're performing incredibly well and uh, they make a lot of hot water, especially in the shoulder seasons. That's when we need it the most for uh, heating our hot water. We uh, use the hot water for domestic heating through hydronic heating. We'll look at that when we go inside, as well as our domestic hot water. In the summertime, we have way too much hot water, but uh, that's okay. Cause so these panels don't move back and forth. They're in their, they're permanently mounted in their winter orientation. We've got a couple, three uh, light tubes for bringing in natural lighting into the house. And this living roof is just getting started up here. It'll be a couple more years before it gets going. And uh, there's the back of all the solar panels all wired together. So they actually change angle twice a year. Right now they're in their winter angle. Looking around here, you can see the hillside in behind. beautiful native area back there. We were careful when we built our house not to damage any more land. We built on previously impacted land. And if you look down, it's great being up on the roof. You can see all kinds of things. There's our composting piles for our humanure toilets. And over there is uh, part of our rainwater harvesting system from the living roof. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk mostly about energy. So, oh, let's go into the mechanical room and see where this energy comes in. Before we go into the mechanical room, we should have a quick peek at the wood gasification boiler. This is an incredibly efficient way of using wood to heat hot water. And that hot water ties in with the uh, solar thermal evacuated tubes. So it all kind of ties in together, the work really nice combination. It's a, this wood gasifier is about 85% efficient. So a uh, really good way to heat hot water less smoke and a very short chimney. You can actually put your hand in the chimney. Let's go inside now. Okay, we're inside now in the mudroom and uh, just coming in and kind of go into the mechanical room. This is the warmest room in the house. So all the systems are in here. So uh, it's a pretty crowded room too. We actually do tours in here. Pretty, pretty funny actually. So on the wall we've got the grid tie inverter. Now what happens is those solar panels we were just looking at, they feed into these two things, which are charge controllers. And those charge controllers manage the electricity being generated and they charge up our battery bank, which is in there. We have about 800 amp hours in sealed AGM batteries. They're behind that, that little thing comes off. And then we've got a regular AC panel there. And then we've got our DC panels here. Most of the loads in the house are actually DC. with all the lighting and fridge and freezer, that kind of stuff. 
and uh, there's the AC panel and that's connected to the grid tie inverter which is right here. If I look really close I can see how much electricity we're making. We're selling actually 1.1 kilowatts to BC Hydro right now and uh, down here I'm drying some beans from the garden. See everything comes together in this room. We say this is the room where high tech meets low tech. And over here, that's a uh, communications box. We have our modem in there and telephone lines coming in. We don't have wireless in this house, and uh, everything is hardwired to all the different rooms. Over here is the layout for our heating system. We have hydronic in floor hot water heating. And what that means is we've got pipes all through the earthen floors, both downstairs and upstairs. And what that does is, is the hot water that is heated is cycled all through those pipes to heat the mass of the house. Extremely efficient way to use energy to heat an earthen, earthen house. That's our well pump, a water meter, and over here we have uh, some of the controls for the hydronic heating system. All the pipes that go into the floors and take off all the different places. So we used a different, slightly different system here. We actually simplified regular systems to make them a lot more efficient with their electricity for the pumps and controls. These are very special pumps. They're called LCID pumps and they're DC. They use a fraction of the energy of conventional pumps and uh, very quiet. And they only run when there's water, when there's a heating demand, when the thermostat calls for heat. Now this is a really interesting system because it's uh, the wood boiler ties into it wood boiler ties in over here. We've got all the solar controllers. We've got actuator valves that open and close and pressure tanks and a great big uh, solar boiler with two different coils in it. Solar hot water coils into the lower heat has a heat exchange that goes into the lower coil and the takeoff for the uh, in-floor hydronic heating is in the upper one and the wood boiler ties backwards into the upper one or directly feeds to the floors. Now right now, if we look at this other little LCID pump, you can see two little red lights on and that means we're making solar hot water. Lots of it. So over here we can see how hot is it. Well, oh, that's about 130 degrees Fahrenheit or about 55 Celsius. So making pretty good hot water. So this is our solar hot water is actually a combination system. The combination system means that it feeds both our domestic hot water and our space heating. So it's a very unique system. And then it ties in with the wood gasification boiler. So it's all, all integrated here and this little thing is what integrates it all. So this is a system we don't need to manage very much. You know, other than put wood in the wood boiler when we need to, when there's not enough sun. So, uh, like I was saying though, those evacuated tubes work incredibly good in the shoulder seasons. So if anybody's interested in learning all the nitty gritty details of this entire system, it's all available in a full report that was produced by Cascadia and ourselves. We did a year long research study on the house and all the energy and water systems. And the complete configuration is there as long as with all the research and the components and how it's all put together and there's a lot of graphs and uh, spreadsheets and all kinds of fun stuff. Well, over here we have another water meter for the hot water. So this is the room where we say high tech meets low tech. We can dry our clothes over here in the winter because we don't have a clothes dryer. In the summer or on a day like today we'd be hanging them outside. And what else can I show you in here? I don't think there's very much. Anyways, I think that's it.